Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your first full week of June love reading. Generally my readings are love readings. I do apologize for the delay. Things should be back in order by next week. So this is for the sign of Libra. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and one of those oracle cards. And if it flips over while I'm shuffling, you'll get to see it now. Otherwise, you'll see it at the end. What does Libra need to know for this first week of June? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have already happened in your life. Could be happening now or could be happening later, okay? Because we're all at different points in our life. I didn't take those because it was more than one. We're going to get one of these. Woo! Oh, we got one flipper, so we're going to take it. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. This is for Libra. What does Libra need to know? This is Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. This is for the sign of Libra for this first full week of June. June 4th through the 10th, or whenever it resonates. There's been some power struggles, okay? There's been some kind of competition here, or game playing. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay, that's very stubborn, hot-headed, not giving you what you want, okay, could be, maybe they're, maybe this person is kind of like playing games with you, or you feel like they're playing games, um, but there's closure that's still needed, there's still not any closure with this person, they may be making you feel empty inside, Maybe you need some closure from this person. There's been some sort of conflict. There's a lack of togetherness, a lack of appreciation. It's like maybe they don't appreciate what you have to offer. This person isn't really concentrating on or giving you the attention that you need. That's what it looks like to me. Um, this could be any sign, but it's somebody who's very non-responsive. Okay, it's like you can't get anything out of them. And it's causing you um It's like it's impacting your future. You know, you want a future, but they don't. That could be the case. It could be any sign. Um it's like you you may feel, you know, maybe you need to give them a chance or they need to give you a chance. Somebody it almost feels like they've been wasting time. Time is wasting here. Knight of Swords. There could have been something that happened very harshly. There could have been some harsh words. Uh, maybe somebody wants to go, You're, you want this to move along, and they don't. That could be the, the story. Um, the Hanged Man. The Moon, of course. The Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords, reversed, and the Tower reversed. Yikes. Okay. So, somebody has been really afraid of what will happen, uh, you know, the, the outcome. They're afraid of sacrificing themselves again, perhaps. I just want to get this zoomed in before I go any further. Um... There's definitely a lack of wish fulfillment here, Libra. There is. There's a lack of... Somebody may have been trying to move too quickly and the other person is resisting. Um, there's also... There could be some stalking going on. Uh, there's definitely some, some bitterness. Some, somebody is very upset here. Uh, it's like the reality... There's a reality check. It's like the truth has been revealed. Some truth has come out. A secret has come out. And now... 
it's made somebody feel very lost, okay? Somebody's feeling very lost and they're still hanging on because there's no closure. I'm still hanging on to this because it's not over yet. It's not over yet. And it feels like somebody, it feels like their pride has been hurt by another person. Whether This can always go vice versa. So this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody's pride has been hurt. There is some regrets and there's fear of sacrifice. There's fear of loss. There's fear of abandonment here. Somebody is very afraid of, of um, being abandoned. And the truth is they probably already have been abandoned. And now they just can't close the deal you know it's like wow this is overwhelming okay um there's definitely some conflict okay there is some conflict going on in your life this week there's difficulty in communication um there's it's like something has happened unexpectedly to cause like an uproar and it's something you've been trying to avoid, but it's unavoidable. Okay, it's unavoidable. There's been some something that has happened that has now made somebody feel very lost on the inside and feeling like there's no hope for the future. Okay, there's no hope for the future with this person. I feel like somebody wanted to move a lot faster and wanted things to happen and they weren't happening and it may have pushed, it may have been a push, eight of wands, now there's a blockage. You may have been blocked or they may have blocked you. It's like all of a sudden all communication has been blocked, maybe even stopped completely and um, you know, you may end up on your own, independent, okay, out of this. It feels like you there's a somebody has been rejected and now they have to restore the balance. They have to bring back the balance in their life and and start enjoying the finer things in life again. You know, I need to realize what I'm worth because there's a lot of worth here. There's about finding out about what you're worth and who you are and what you deserve and going out on your own and taking care of business because you love yourself. It's about self-love and after some sort of conflict there's been some unexpected conflict here that has probably changed your your view or your path and stopped communication with another person and there's a lot of um, growth here okay there's progress somebody is making progress but still at a loss do you know what I'm saying I mean there's still a feeling lost here there's been a lost opportunity imagine that but I understand that there's something better so that's interesting I've, I've I'm still lost over this because I I know that this was something but I I still have faith in myself I still love myself to know what I deserve so it's interesting um Somebody is going through some sort of recovery from another person, emotional recovery. It's like, I know that I went through this for a reason. There was a lesson here to be learned. And it has to do with self-love. It does. It has to do with you getting what you deserve, but still not wanting to be alone. But I think now you've come to this, some of you have come to this, um, conclusion that I would be better off on my own than dealing with this conflicting situation where there's a lot of unexpected conflicts and arguments per se. I mean, it looks like there's there has been. It's like, and here you are, the justice cards. Like I know what I deserve. Is I it's time for me to restore the balance that's been lost. But it's not easy, right? It's not easy. There's a karmic lesson here. Karma, lesson, okay? So there's a karmic lesson here. But the lesson hasn't completely been learned, unfortunately, because the world card is reversed. This karmic lesson has to do with self-love. It does with this nine of pentacles. It's about knowing what you are worth. So I feel like there's been a lost opportunity in love, unfortunately, with this four of cups, even in reversed that it has or a missed opportunity or something like that that has 
pushed you in a new direction. It's you are being called to you have made your life changes going on right now. You are changing into a different person because of a loss, unfortunately. And it appears that this is a week of restoring balance of of doing the right thing uh, for yourself because that's what you have to do. If you don't take care of you, nobody else is going to. So with this Justice card, Libra, it looks like you guys are being honest with the the true essence of what has happened, okay? The true loss. I, I understand what happened and now I have to accept it even though it hurts like hell. So I feel like this is a week of of still recovering from a loss. Yes, you're still recovering, but you've made a lot of progress, a lot of progress. And I feel like you're starting to see the light and you're beginning to realize the truth of the situation. You are. That's what I see, the truth of, of you know, there's better days ahead and I can do this and I am worthy and I'm just going to enjoy my life as it is and I'm going to love myself as much as I need to and that does restore balance when you can put yourself first and I think that is probably what you're doing this week you're putting yourself first um, what else does Libra need to know Ooh, so you know there's a couple people here we have Pisces Cancer Scorpio Gemini Libra Aquarius Taurus Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay that's who we have here Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, somebody has been going through some mental turmoil, okay? They have. They've been sitting on the fence. They, they, they've, there's been a difficult decision. There's been some painful changes and painful choices in your life. And it's been very stressful. And it's like you faced a lot of opposition. And now you are probably torn in regards to maybe even two people maybe you have to choose between two paths okay between two people even one's in the past one's one's now and you're you've held on to this past person for so long that it's hard to to begin with someone new right so i feel like there this right here is is inability to see the truth you've blocked your emotions because of the past hurts that's what it is I feel as though right now you're being called to look at something from a new perspective. Be open to this other person's reality. It's like somebody's in denial here. Some This, this is denial, inability to see the truth. The truth is, is here because I see that there's been a reality check. The truth has come out, but somebody is, has been unable to accept the truth. And I think it has to do, and your intuition knows what this is too, Libra, by the way. You, your intuition is trying to tell you something. Um, you know what the truth is, and it's time to be honest with you about this, with yourself about this situation. I think that you need to be assertive, okay? You need to be strong, and you need to stand up for yourself and do what's right for you at this time. And I think this is a week of probably taking that blindfold off. And, and acting out of self-love to go after what you deserve, to realize what you deserve, and, you know, just enjoying life as it is. So this is a week of perhaps even making something final, because if you think of the Justice card, it's finality. Think about the courtroom when they put that gavel on the bench and they make that, um, they sentence, you know, they, they make it final. They make it final. So it's a card of finality. So it's about finally accepting the truth of a situation and loving yourself to only accept what you deserve, okay? So I feel like you guys are, pr this is this could be a week of independence for you where you act out of independence. You know, you show the world how wise you are and how independent you are and how you can take care of yourself and what you're worth. The only thing that is real is love. Shift, shift your focus from the problem back to love. Don't concentrate on the problem anymore. Let it go. It's all about love. And when you love yourself fully, the rest will fall right into place. The right things will happen. What is meant to be will be, especially when you love yourself first.
flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Anybody, period. It doesn't have to be a loving flirt. It's about extending your lighthearted energy to others. Be happy. Be happy with who you are. That's that nine of pentacles. Show the world how wise and independent and strong you are. And let the world know how happy you are with who you are. Anyway, that's what I have, Libra, for this week. Talk to you later. I know that, you know, you want to know if new love's coming in. That's usually the main question. I don't see that. You guys, this is a very independent week. It is. Talk to you later.